Still, what's going on? I've been taking this cop around. And we're on, like, cop missions. And I actually just wanted to specifically ask about the, the fight sequences. Yeah. Because, I mean, you have Iko Ue, who's just right. ridiculous. Different and, level, like, like not only level. starring against him, but doing the fight choreography. Right. Uh, I'm just curious if you guys can talk about your experience working with him and also mm. just what the most challenging sequence was. I was actually shocked at how good the action was because, you know, I, there I was shooting a lot of, I mean, I, I shot a lot of it, the fight stuff, <clears throat> but I hadn't seen it pieced together. And when I saw it on, the, on film for the first time, I was actually, I was amazed at how good it was. And it feels very real. It feels very practical and gritty. And I think that's why people are kind of getting that throwback feel to it because it's not all CGI'd in. And no. It's like real practical fight scenes. If, but uh, Eco is a different, different level. Like he's a different level guy. And, it took, when we worked together, it took a few discussions because they had choreographed a bunch of stuff that I just wasn't suited for. It was more of that Asian style of fighting. And so we actually, we had a lot of discussions and, and we found a way, you know, to make our different styles work. But he's just, he's so talented. I mean, he's so talented. He's, he's, and he's got a charisma. The kid's, he's a star. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty amazing watching them mm -hmm. choreograph this fight. At mm -hmm. the end of the movie, there's a fight that I'm sort of just watching. <laughs> I'm trying to get the gun. But but they really were like so that you know, Eco had um, choreographed the fight, but then they sort of were tweaking it as they were going, and it was just, I felt like you know I I felt just felt so lucky being able to watch these two guys who are amazing at yeah. this doing what they do. Take the shot, Stu! Just defeat him! Stu, take the shot! It was one of those because we were, you know, we had a tight schedule. I mean, we worked hard every day, so it was one of those things. We didn't have the luxury of doing a lot of rehearsal. We didn't have a rehearsal time. We didn't, mm -hmm. we didn't have a two hundred million dollar Marvel budget where we <laughs> had a month to rehearse fight scenes. But so we were on the fly, kind of fixing it as going. But that's just, uh, I mean, that's just a nod to how good that kid is. Where are you? I want you to come over. I really need you. <laughs> Three red roses. Girl is thirsty. One thing that the two of you have in common is that you split your time between big screen and the small screen. And I'm just curious, like, having the opportunity to work on a film, what you see as kind of the advantages and or disadvantages. Interesting. I mean, on a film generally, not all the time, but generally uh, scenes take longer. You move at a faster pace when you're doing television. So, like, you'll do the same scene for a long time, which can be good or very bad. Because uh, right, you right. could be very tired of it and just, like, want to and you're like, you got enough angles. Like, <laughs> let's just move on. Especially, especially if you come action. from a yeah, yeah. Especially if you come from a faster paced world. But sometimes it's good to like get that, um, get it right. You know, um, on the forty fifth take. Yeah, yeah. With TV, you know, doing seasons long arcs of things. You know, you really get time to explore a character. And you know, I. I I do think I worked two days on this movie. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, well, I hope that was a completely crafted person because sure. that took two days. Yeah. Um, but also in kind of a really fun way. Uh, yeah, but it's also very similar, I think. You know, it's still, um, you're playing pretend with a bunch of these things around and it's a really weird job. <laughs> sure, it's a good job, that. And, and does it change the experience actually seeing the finished product, though? Yeah, I saw it in a screening room by myself in New York last <laughs> week, alone, <laughs> in like a 30-seat theater. Nice. It was... Uh, Optimal comedy. Yeah. Experience. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I, I love going to movie theaters by myself. Oh, yeah. totally. It's the best. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. It feels very French. Yes. <laughs> How do you know my dad? I'm going to put this propane tank at them. You shoot it, you blow up their car. He kidnapped me. <laughs> Doesn't freaking Jaws? Exactly, just like Jaws, it's gonna work. We killed some people. Go! 